In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some tips on how to use the Video Collage tool. Before we look at the tool itself, I'd like to explain some of the features by showing you two finished results. You see on the screen a collage. This one's made up of five different panels. You can pick 13 layouts, uh, three of them with three panels, five with four, three with five panels, one with six, and one with seven. Now I'm going to start to play this and you're going to see how it begins. The spin in in this particular template, you can't control that. That's dictated by the program. These five panels are all populated by movies. You can have movies or pictures or both. But in this case, I chose five movies. You can choose when you have movies in your collage to tell the program to play them all at once or sequentially. I chose sequentially. And once again, the template determined which boxes play one at a time. You notice they freeze until it's their turn and then they freeze when they're done. And in a moment, we'll see it switches from this panel to this one to the surfer, then it will go up to the driver, and then it will go to the uh, folks on the river. But that's how that works. So you can't control either the intro introduction or the sequencing here. So you, you're stuck with the design decisions in the particular template that you pick. But that's what it looks like with a, a five panel display. There happen to be three options there you can pick from. So the next thing I'd like to show you is this other collage that I put in the timeline. Uh, this one here has two videos and two still pictures. So watch how it begins, the way the template designed it to start. And I have two pictures and two videos. Now these, I said if there's a video, have them play at the same time. And so they both began at, at the same moment. But uh, this one is a shorter one with a soccer ball, and that will freeze while the other one continues to play. Also, there's a little bit of pan and zoom going on on both of these two pictures. Watch as I move the playhead back and we start to play again. You'll see a little tiny bit of pan and zoom action on this picture and this picture. That's built in. I can't change it. So those are some of the results of using different templates with both movies and still pictures. And you can make any combination you want. Let's go ahead and actually use the tool. Uh, I'm going to go and click on the Create option in the upper right corner. And then I'll click on Video Collage. And then it will begin to load my 13 templates on the right. It defaults to three to start with but it gives me all the grids that I might want, three and four and five and six and seven. Uh, let's take a grid four here and make this the new default. So I click on it and click on the apply button beneath it. And that will show me what I can do here. Then I go to my media bin and I can go to my files and folders. And let's bring in uh, four pictures here very quickly. I'm using pictures in this case since it's going to be faster and easier. And now I have four pictures, so I can just take them. I highlight my uh, quadrant I want. I can drag and drop. And we'll do this with all four. We'll highlight this one, highlight this one, and click over here and highlight the last one. Now let me show you a couple of things that, to pay attention to. Uh, you can control uh, a little bit about the appearance of the picture. Uh, this is the swap key. If I click on that, it says drag selected media and drop to other grid. So if I want this one in the upper left, I simply drag and let go and they will swap. I can also magnify what's on the screen and I can to some degree move it around. So we can magnify and move. Now movies are a little more restricted but you have the option of doing some editing with movies. You can cut them, make them shorter. Um, you normally can't move them up and down, but you can move them left and right. 
Now let's see if we can change the size of this. Now with pictures you have a little more latitude than movies again, but there is a limit to how small you can go. I'll click on this one and we can make this one the size, but there's that's about all I can do for size. Um, the size of the panels that you can make. And uh, you have again two options here. If there is a, a video, it can they can play back one after another or all together. That's the only thing you control with the gear. But I can click up here on the template, and I have four images here. So I'm going to take another four image one, which is this one here. Click on Apply, and it says the edits will be lost. I'll say OK, and it kept the pictures, but changed the location and size to the default. What if I want to go from a, a four-panel display to a three-panel display? Let's see what happens. I'll click this. I'll click Apply. And I get the same message. And it arbitrarily decides which one uh, I lose. So that's a, look, a little bit of a look at those. So when you're done, you have the option of previewing. And click on the button in, in the, at the bottom, in the middle. And it will generate a preview. If you use movies, this will take a long time. And uh, in, in this case, I just use still pictures. So it's not quite so bad. But movies take a long time to render. And here again, we get a little bit of pan and zoom going on in each of these. And that is built into the template. You can't change that. So um, we'll go ahead and close that out. And then if you are satisfied with your collage, you can click on Export and Share or Export to Timeline. I'll do Export to Timeline. And it tells me it's been exported. Then I can click my Exit button in the lower right corner. And I can save the changes as a collage, as a separate file that I can load later. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll say no. And here I have my collage. I click over here. Go ahead and play it in my timeline. There is the collage I just created. And uh, so it's a nice tool if you're willing to live within its limits. Uh, you can do some attractive things with it, but it doesn't give you the flexibility of doing some things you could do when you design from the uh, bottom up uh, using your own techniques.